Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, when I reported this news of Shakur Stevenson signing with top-ranked promotions, I was shocked just like everyone else was. But then I said to myself, you know what? There has to be a reason why he signed with Bob Arum. And I'm assuming Bob Arum, knowing that he's in a very dire situation when it comes to his competitor, Al Heyman, even though he's kind of working with Al Heyman now, the fact that Al Heyman has so much talent signed under his banner, Bob Arum had to make a big play. He had to make a really big move to stay afloat. So I truly believe that Bob Arum, he invested a lot of money into Shakur Stevenson to stay afloat in the boxing game and remain relevant. Obviously, Bob Arum, he wanted to make Terrence Crawford a star by putting him in the ring with Manny Pacquiao, but Manny Pacquiao said hell to the gnaw when it come to getting in the ring with Crawford, so that kind of derailed Bob Arum's plans. So, once again, Bob Arum, he had to seek elsewhere for a big star that he could possibly make a whole lot of money off of. And right now, that's Shakur Stevenson. But don't get me wrong. Bob Arum, he does still have Lomachenko and Terrence Crawford. But it's not just the quality, it's the quantity as well. So with that being said, the fact that Bob Arum probably gave him a ridiculous signing bonus and whatever else he gave him, I said, well, you know, maybe it's not that bad of a deal for Shakur. But then right when I said that to myself, I thought about something and I said, oh, wait a minute. If he signed with top rank, that means Shakur Stevenson is going to most likely be an HBO fighter, at least for the most part, because Bob Arum, he has the rights to, you know, host fights on Showtime, wherever. But of course, the majority of fights that he does are on HBO, right? It's very rare that he has a fight on Showtime. So the fact that Shakur Stevenson is going to be fighting on HBO, that obviously means that people like Jim Lampley and Max Kellerman are going to be calling his fights. Now remember, Jim Lampley is the same guy that a couple years back when Floyd was the best fighter pound for pound in the world, since Jim Lampley didn't like who was on the list, he decided to make his own ridiculous Arturo Gatti list, which is essentially the hope list, which honestly was a brilliant idea when it comes to what Jim Lampley was attempting to do. And that is to once again, create deflections, change the subject. His mentality is, if we can't beat him, we simply change the rules. So if no one can beat pound for pound, number one, number two, the best fight in the world, we'll make up our own rules. We'll come up with this hopeless or gaddy list, right? And we'll basically convince people, forget about those fighters on that other list where they base things off of who the best fighter in the world is. On this list right here, we're going to base things off of who we like personally. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be the best in the division. They don't have to be the best in the world. All they have to do is be someone that we like. And that is what the hope list is all about. With that all being said, Shakur Stevenson is going to be fighting on HBO. And if you look at the way Andre Ward, Guillermo Rigondeaux, Floyd Mayweather were and are treated on HBO, it gives you an idea of what's in store for Shakur Stevenson. Now, I was going to play some clips for you guys, some side-by-side -side clips of how they treat Terrence Crawford when he's moving around in the ring boxing compared to what they say about Lomachenko when he moves around the ring and boxes. And I was going to give a whole lot of examples because it's not just with Lomachenko and Terrence Crawford. Of course, it's with Floyd, it's with Andre Ward. It's with tons of fighters. But you know what? I'm going to do that on another video because it's late right now. And as you guys can hear in my voice, I'm pretty groggy right now and about to go to sleep. It's really late. 
So with that being said, I'll try to get around to doing a part two so I can really, really put some more clips together so you guys can really see what I'm talking about when I talk about the double standards that exist. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be rough for Shakur Stevenson fighting on HBO. I'm telling you guys that right now. Do you guys know that America is the only, and when I say only, this is a fact, guys. America is the only country in the world that root against their own country. Not just root against, but I'm talking about boo their own countrymen just to root for a foreigner. You don't believe me? I can give you tons of examples. For example, if you look at the UK, when Kell Brook fought against Gennady Golovkin, if you guys notice, fans were actually booing Gennady Golovkin while cheering for Kell Brook. Why were they doing that? Not to be disrespectful to Golovkin, because the UK, they respect Golovkin a lot. But they were doing this just to show their loyalty and their support towards their own countrymen, right? Now, I gave you the UK scenario. Now, let's bring Golovkin to the States. Do you know that when Golovkin fights in the States, it's the complete opposite? The fans are actually booing the American fighter and they're rooting for Golovkin, the foreign fighter. Once again, you see how different it is in the UK compared to America? That is my exact point. And once again, if it wasn't so late, I would really get a lot more deeper into what I'm talking about right now, but I'm going to have to save that for another video and take my ass to sleep. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs>